In a previous video, we looked at this particular sinusoidal curve and decided that y is equal to one-half cosine of 2x plus one-half would be a pretty accurate graph of this, and in fact, we graphed it and verified that they were quite close. But suppose that somebody wanted to think of this as a sinusoidal curve with the sine instead of with the cosine. This can also be done, and it's exactly the same concept. The idea is to decide, uh, some of the same arguments uh, apply here, is that the x-axis should be running about halfway through this, the amplitude would be one-half, and the shift up would be one-half. So we're getting y is equal to the amplitude we're still estimating to be one-half from the evidence available. Then we're going to worry about the sine of, we'll need to find out what b and c are, and we decide that the d value is going to be one half because it looks like it's been lifted up by one half. Something with an amplitude of one half has been lifted up by one half. We just observed that from the, from the graph because we're thinking of that center line coming through here, looking at what the amplitude was and how much the center line was lifted up. Now the next thing that we need to do is think about where this thing is starting. So let me use this frame just to kind of say if this was going to be a sign it would need to be starting over about, about right here. So it's starting to go up at that particular er, point. So I need to to look at the graph and try and decide about what that particular point is. Um, where is that particular point? Well, we argued that this looked like it was about where pi was. So this would be pi over 2, and so this would be 3 quarters of a pi. Be what that is, 3 pi over 4. Okay, so what we're thinking then, in this case, is that when x is 3 pi over 4, when x is 3 pi over 4, then this argument inside of the sign, the bx plus c, when x is 3 pi over 4, this needs to be equal to 0. Okay, so that's going to give us an equation in b and c. Secondly, we need to worry about where we think this thing ends. We're thinking that one cycle is starting here at 3 pi over 4, and then it's ending right here. So we need to do a little bit of figuring out of where that particular value is. So before we had thought that right here was about where 2 pi was, so pi was going to be there, and if we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4 is about where we're thinking this ends. So we're thinking our, our cycle begins here at 3 pi over 4 and is ending at 7 pi over 4. So that's the general idea, is to think what x value makes this look like the, the point that we're starting at, uh, that, that we're starting a cycle at, we decided that 3 pi over 4 was where we were going to start one cycle, and that cycle was going to end at 7 pi over 4. The sine starts its cycle at 0 and ends its cycle at 2 pi. So we need to find b and c so that they make bx plus c be equal to 0 when x is 3 pi over 4, and it makes bx plus c equal to 2 pi when x is 7 pi over 4. Then subtracting the top equation from the bottom equation, the c's will cancel and I'll have 3 pi, pi over 4 subtracted from 7 pi over 4 is 4 pi over 4. Or in other words, b times pi has to be equal to 2 pi. Or completing the algebra there, we discover that b is equal to 2. Once we know that b is equal to 2, we can substitute it into either one of these equations, uh, 
of b being 2 and solve for the c value. Solving for c is equal to a minus 3 pi over 2. So notice what we did. We looked at the, the b x plus c found out where we thought that the cycle was beginning for the sine. Uh, we decided that that was at 3 pi over 4. Decided when that we thought that was ending, that cycle was ending for that at 7 pi over 4. Set the first one equal to 0 and the second one equal to 2 pi because the uh, principal cycle for the sine starts at 0 and ends at 2 pi. We solved that system of equation to find out what b and c are, and so therefore we get this particular equation. Now let's look at a graphing utility and see if that produces about the right result. So here we are looking at those two uh, particular functions we've got. Here's the sinusoidal expressed as, let me pull that out so we see it all, expressed as a, as a sine, and that's that particular graph, notice that it's got the right shape. It starts at, at a height of 1, drops to 0, and pulls back up. It is the same shape as this one. And notice that if I change and look at this other one, they are identical. Those two particular functions graph exactly the same curve. One represented as a cosine, thinking of starting here at our principal cycle and ending here at our principal cycle. The second one, thinking of starting here as our principal cycle and ending here as our principal cycle.